Alright guys, so what we have here is the experimental life energy meter built based on something that Wilhelm Reich used to use to measure the amounts of orgone energy in certain objects. So check it out, what we got here is this dead ass leaf right here. We've got a somewhat dead leaf right here. And one that is uh, actually looking pretty good. Recently plucked, obviously, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this one place it on the sensor. Alright, it's coming in at about 28, but what I noticed about this is that when you move it around and you get it more towards, you know, you put the root of the leaf closer to the center of the little reader, it goes up like crazy. So, this is reading at over 100. Move it over there, it's reading less. Then, we're going to take this partially dead, place that on there. It starts off at about 22, goes up a little bit, just like the last one but it does not go up nearly as high. See, it goes up to about 40. All right, and now we got this dead ass leaf right here. Let's see what happens. All right, that's reading at about six. Right there, move it around, still the same thing. Take this organite pyramid right here. I don't know if you can really see, but it's got a copper coil in it. You can kind of see it's very close to the uh, to the surface of the bottom and you got a reading that is really really high and it's pretty good but nothing compared to the one with the coil it's coming in at like 64 the one with the coil is maxing out another thing that's really cool about this is take this little piece of copper copper wire all right, I'm gonna make a really quick coil out of this, just so y'all can see that there's no shenanigans going on here. All right, let's see. Making a quick coil. It's gonna be not a very tight coil, as you can tell. All right, so there we go. Coil, not the prettiest coil in the world, but whatever. It's not the point of this whole thing. Put that on there. I'm reading about what is that? 13. All right, now what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take the same piece of wire. I'm gonna stretch it out again. This time. I'm going to make a super, super tight coil. Again, this one's not going to be the prettiest coil in the world, obviously. Because I don't want y'all to have to watch me sit here and make a coil for half this video. So we're just... <laughs> pretty much nothing. Look at that. The funny thing about it is the fact that this whole piece of metal right now is on the sensor. And I feel like the one that I did before, you know, it was coiled so loosely that this, there's no way the sensor was picking up everything. So this one's coming in at like one, which is nothing compared to the other one. So I have been putting these these wider coils into my pieces as of lately because it obviously makes them a lot stronger. And I'm gonna test out something else that I thought was really cool. Here is another really cool thing I wanted to show y'all. Check it out. This pyramid, this is the one that does not have the coil in it that I showed you earlier in this video. I actually painted it since then, so it's got some planets on it, some cool stuff. Either way, it's the same one, no coil. Put it on. About 40. 42 actually, pretty strong. But See, if I would have put some coils into this piece, let's see, it would have been much stronger. Let's see, coil, about 10. All right, that's reading about 18. So, let's see, now we're looking at, ooh boy, we're looking at about 67. So, that just goes to show you how much stronger these coils really make each piece. All right, y'all, what we got here is two copper wires. They're both pretty much the exact same length, as you can see. Very, very, very close in length, a little bit off. Very, very, very close. So what I'm gonna do is coil these bad boys up. So here we go. Probably fast forward this in the video so you don't see how much do this whole thing. All right, all right, here we go. One coil. Right, let's see if some reads. Let's see, what is that, like 20? Let's flip this thing over. Oh wow, that's like 48. I guess it's because there's more, the actual metal is coming closer to the actual sensor, so it's just reading a higher level. So, let's see, again, about 50. So that's pretty damn strong because this thing right here, has like four different modes that's on the range right here. The one that we're on right now is the second least sensitive. So, that being said, that piece is pretty strong. And it looks like just doing that messed up the calibration. So it's reading at about four right now. So whatever this one is, we're gonna subtract four from. All right, there's our coil. And now what we're gonna do is place this on the meter and see what we find. All right, so I would say that's about 46 because of the fact that we're subtracting four because of the calibration issue. Let's look it over see if it's any different. Alright, so this is definitely our stronger side right here. 
So what we can do is take both of these pieces and combine them. See what happens. All right, now it's reading close to 60 something. Also, if you want to download my free ebook on why Oregon Energy is so awesome, I highly recommend you do that. There's a link in the description. It's only five pages long, so you might as well do it. There's links to like a college, uh, the University of Marburg that did a study on the Oregon accumulator. The whole thing is in there, all their, the whole report that they did about it. It's so cool. I definitely recommend checking that out. Um, there's also links to some other videos, one done by uh, Dr. DeMio. So cool. There's just really cool links to informative things you can find about Oregon Energy. It's only five pages long, too, so you should probably check it out. Highly recommend it. Um, thanks again. I'll